So hi everyone. Today we have a special guest on our channel. We have Mayank with us. So Mayank, would you like to introduce yourself once? Yeah, sure. Hi, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Mayank Gupta. Uh, I am currently working as a software engineer at uh, JustPay, and uh, I have around uh, seven months of experience as a full-time uh, employee. And uh, previously also uh, I worked as an intern at uh, App Avengers as a SD intern. And uh, before that. Uh, also, I worked as a problem setter uh, at interview.io and uh, uh, yeah, and also I, I completed my uh, BTEC uh, in electronics and communication engineering uh, from triple IT 3 CT and uh, pass out batches 202 core. Hmm, nice, nice, nice. So like he mentioned, he recently joined just as SD1 and he cracked it also off campus. So we'll be getting to know his journey, his interview experience, preparation, and the whole story about how he cracked JustPay. So Mayank, let's start us. Uh, would you like to start us off with your interview experience at JustPay? Like, how did you apply? What all happened? How did it go? Yeah. So uh, my interview experience actually would be he firstly I applied through a LinkedIn only, and also uh, asked a referral from my friend. So from the referral, uh, I got the call. And then my first round was scheduled. Basically, it was a four round overall. And uh, first round, uh, I got the call, and it was a React based assignment for me. So, in that, uh, I was asked to make uh, something like a canvas where uh, you can add the cat and dog, whatever the image would be. And you need to add certain functionalities, like it could go to the x axis and y axis. And uh, you have to display some of the messages. And each each of the these things should be come as a history as well. So like around that, uh, this was the whole assignment. And uh, after that, like after a one week, I got the call for the another round, and it was a hackathon. So uh, the hackathon uh, there was uh, two parts, part A and part B. So like it was a whole day process for me uh, uh, of the both part A and part B. So it took me around two days. So like from the 11 a.m. morning to till 6 and 7 and the interview would be mostly uh, uh, ad hoc based like the, it totally depends on the interviewer uh, what he mean to ask like he can go in the direction in which he wants like uh, there could be a DFS or BFS like firstly I will tell you the question so it was mostly like a MRA based tree. So in that, like uh, there was concepts used like locking and uh, uh, unlock tree, and there was also some kind of functionality like upgrade. So what in in that uh, there was a huge conditions like six to seven conditions were added, and you need to think wisely like how in order to uh, execute all uh, in your solution. So uh, and and uh, feel free to ask whatever the intuition you want to ask. Like uh, interview would be very helpful and and actually I would say ki the final solution also based depends on the interviewer. So it is not like ki you will get only this as out. So it totally depends on the interviewer and uh, yeah. So the part A was like you can go with the basic a uh, naive solution. So they will accept that. Uh, and they will also uh, follow up you with the something else like which you were you were uh, actually missing. So in that way, the part A would be done, and uh, they will let you know yeah, if that is correct or not. So and once you move to the part B, uh, then actually the multi-core things uh, comes like multi-threading concepts will be coming, and the mutex and those locking wala situations will arrive. So. Uh, actually, I remember ki, uh, like, let's say you uh, called some function and now they will also tell ki, while calling that function, we are calling again uh, another call, which is multi-code. So, so in that situation, uh, you will see ki your part A solution is failing. So that's the scenario they will develop and they will ask you only ki, uh, whatever you solved before is correct or not. So that, that, uh, that could be the confusion you may lead and then Again, uh, you can ask them, ki, uh, I'm thinking in that way only. So should I move in that direction? They will guide you. And uh, so so that's the mostly a hackathon process. So like follow up keeps on coming. You need to solve that, debug that. That's the actual software engineers do. So it's like that. That's why it uh, took me around two days. And, 
and after that uh, there was also a final round i got but it usually depends let's say uh, it totally depends on your performance ki how you did in part a part b and uh, then another round comes and in that another round uh, actually mine was mostly a react based so so they asked me like uh, what are the hooks uh, what is abstract syntax to ast so they they will actually go deep dive whatever they ask na they will expect you to have a depth knowledge in that so uh, they will uh, ask you what is a reconciliation how the browser paints the screen how actually dom works and the virtual doms and uh, so these like mostly uh, whatever they will ask they will expect you to have a deep knowledge inside that and if you don't have still you can say whatever you are thinking so they will let you know ki uh, are you saying correct or not or they will also guide you ki think in this direction might we uh, you will be able to come to the final solution that they are expecting so uh, aisa hi rehta hai mostly and uh, yeah so ye final round tha but also it depends ki let's say ki you messed up a bit in a final round so usually they also provide one more chance as i saw but in my case it it went luckily uh, in a good way but it might happens so they provide a one more chance and then they will let you know whether you are fine or not yeah hmm. nice man nice so you know this is very unique i always say ki just like interview experience or interview process kafi unique rehta hai you know starts off with a very different thing like usually oa hota hai pehla and just like starts off with a assignment based hiring right so you explained about your assignment based hiring आई थिंक जो मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट होता है या फिर मोस्ट आई थिंक जो कंसर्निंग पार्ट होता है वो होता है हैकेथन वाला है ना बिकॉज लाइक यू सेट काफी एक तो बहुत लंबा चलता है ऑलरेडी इट इज हैक्टिक देन यू हैव हार्ड कोर डी एस ए यू हैव फॉलो अप क्वेश्चन कमिंग एट यू यू हैव मल्टीपल क्वेश्चनिंग बिकॉज ऑब्वियसली इतने देर तक है तो दिल भी क्वेश्चनिंग यू है ना एवरी स्टेप अलॉन्ग द लाइन सो वन थिंग आई वन आस्क इज सो यू हैव द सेम क्वेश्चन इन पार्ट ए एंड देन इन पार्ट बी यू हैव मल्टीपल टेस्ट केसेज टू दैट एंड यू हैव मल्टीपल फॉलो अप्स ऑन द सेम क्वेश्चन राइट correct correct yeah the first question uh, it is it will remain same just a uh, multi processing and threading concepts those comes yeah, into the picture yeah. so that ki, like last day you had given your whole day right so hmm. you must have in some intuition of that ah. question already so you would be able to optimize the thing ki uh, where i could optimize the complexity and bring the space to the picture or hmm. space optimizations and uh, whatever the scenario uh, dictates so in that yeah. direction they yeah all right so part b mein basically usse ek to optimization pe aa jata hai and dusra aa jata hai like you said multi threading uh, those uh-huh. sort of thing all right and uh, jo dsc question hote hai uske topics you said ki ek tree or graph hota hai uske alawa any topic do you know jo usually they can ask any hot topic that you should prepare for aisa kuch you know ha uh, like uh, see dp is always dp with the trees these concepts are very like basically if you implemented aapne tree ka solution prepare kiya so in that case aapko fir kahin pe in between optimization karna padega like if you, like you do code forces and all so aap mein ek intuition aata hai ki you can reduce some space somewhere or uh, might be time complexity kahin aap uh, priority queue wagaira use kar loge in between ya fir uh, sliding window wagaira ko bhi concepts ko ek karte hain so बट मोस्टली मैंने देखा है कि वो ट्री और ग्राफ पे रहते हैं ऐसे और वो लाइक ऑप्टिमाइजेशन दे विल लुक बेसिकली ऑप्टिमाइजेशन टेक्निक्स यू शुड बी गुड एट है ना कि नई सोल्यूशन तो सब लोग ही निकाल लेते हैं मोस्टली उस पर ऑप्टिमाइजेशन वाला पार्ट इम्पोर्टेंट हो जाता है ना कि उसको आप कैसे ऑप्टिमाइज कर ऑल राइट अंडरस्टूड अंडरस्टूड तो वही है लाइक वी डिस्कस की द इंटरव्यू प्रोसेस ऑफ जस्ट पे इज वेरी यूनिक राइट सो ऑब्वियसली यू नीड टू हैव अ गुड प्रिपरेशन टू बी एबल टू कॉन्ग कर इट क्योंकि फ्रंट एंड भी है रिएक्ट भी है आपका है ना मतलब डेवलपमेंट साइड भी है एंड देन हैकेथन में पूरा डी एस ए भी है तो लेट्स नो मोर अबाउट योर प्रिपरेशन की हाउ डिड यू प्रिपेयर डी एस ए और हाउ डिड यू प्रिपेयर डेवलपमेंट की यू केम एट दैट लेवल की यू कुड क्रैक इट actually i would say ki like i have my big brother so i already had the <clears throat> ye ki uh, mentor yeah yeah so like from the college uh, second semester only i started uh, c++ i learned the c++ mm. and did the dsa in the, like but i was i was doing in a random way so there i wasted a lot of time 
कि आई वाज जस्ट सॉल्विंग रैंडम प्रॉब्लम्स एंड इट वाज नॉट हेल्पिंग मी एट ऑल सो आई वेस्टेड अराउंड आई वुड से अ ईयर और 6 टू 8 मंथ्स इन दैट बट आई हैड अ गुड ग्रास्प ओवर सी प्लस प्लस एंड दोस लाइक इन ट्यूशन वेयर आई वाज नॉट एबल टू एक्सेल यू 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 वुड से सो देयर आई डिड अ लॉट ऑफ डीएसए एंड आई फॉलोड अ स्ट्राइवर डीएसए सीड ओनली and uh, also i for the dp i referred aditya verma uh, yeah and, aditya verma yes yeah so and uh, for i would say a javascript namaste javascript is only mm. a very very good uh, yeah best resource yeah best resource you could have for the javascript and while uh, when i learned the javascript i i got into the intern and and doing the real hand things he let's mm. learn it by doing only So yes. for the development, that only works. I would say. Hmm. Mm. Regarding yeah. the DSA, you need to firstly I would suggest you prepare a topic wise as well, so that you would have a good grasp over what is sliding window, uh, what is uh, how trees uh, are implemented, and how the basic questions are being solved. So hmm. in that, and then you would be able to apply the multiple concepts. I would say like the DP with trees. I told then. Uh, Like any questions would contain some sliding window का concept and then later on some other uh, topics could come into the picture. Mm. So these things then you would be able to figure out the variations how much yeah uh, you uh, want to have and then get into the solution. So like that it works. I would mm. say. Right, right, right. Understood, understood. Yeah. All right. So we've talked about the interview experience. We've talked about your preparation. So on a final note, on a closing note to all of the people who are watching this video. you know like you were watching my video when you appeared for just pay like someone else would be watching your video right who also wants to crack a company like just pay what advice would you like to give them yeah i i would just simply uh, recommend ki like uh, whatever you are doing do it consistently that's the main uh, i would suggest because we usually tends to live in between during the college days at uh, the initial years it happens like you left in between and while doing that refer i would suggest first follow topic wise for the dsa uh, that i already suggested he do the mm. topic wise and then get into the like attend the multiple contest so that uh, you would be able to apply whatever you are le- learning so in that way you would be able to like having a good practice for the oa as well mm. for the interview as well and the, and you would be having a good intuition building mm. what i said so yeah Mm. that's my only recommendation mm, right right and that's some good advice you know you need to have hands on practice obviously otherwise without that it will all come falling down all right yeah. so again that's some wonderful advice and if anyone of you still have any doubt or you know want to know more then i'll give his linkedin in the description you guys can follow him from there and connect with him from there so yeah i think that's it for mang's journey thanks a lot mang for coming on the channel and sharing your journey your tips your journey your preparation and everything in between all of that So yeah thanks for coming on the channel and thank you guys for watching thank you